Hi everybody, welcome back to our second video to stretch our back. So now we're gonna start with our upper and middle back a little bit, but keeping more focus in the shoulder blades area. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and you can follow us and find us on Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. So let's start. So we're gonna start with cat and cow. Cat and cow is always a stretch that's gonna release your whole body, but we're gonna use it just to to warm up and to give us a nice release. So we come onto all fours. So your shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees. And we're just gonna use our breath to relax. So we're gonna inhale to prepare as we curve our spine, chin and chest. And exhale, we move our hips forward, arching our back. And we go again, inhale, cut the stretch, feeling the release in the whole spine. And exhale, move your pelvis forward, lift your tummy. Let's arch your back. Let's go just for two more to give us more mobility. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Curving. And exhale. Back onto neutral. We're going to lie down on our back. This is just to start, so we lie down on our back, and remember that we are focused now in you, upper and middle back. We're gonna bring our hands on our head, which is gonna go inhale, and exhale, we lift the head off the ground, elbows in, and we're just gonna hold here for four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. At the same time, we're engaging our dummy, which is help us to give us a little bit of strength for our core muscles. Let's go one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now release. Bring our arms up towards the ceiling. Bend your arm. This is called half eagle pose. So the right arm is going to wrap the left one from under. And as far as we can bring the top of the hands together, moving your elbows backwards. If you can nod the hands, it's okay, but make sure that your wrists are straight. And we're just gonna hold here for four breaths. Inhale, and as much as you push your fingers backwards and keep your arms parallel to your face, you feel the stretch in your shoulder blades and your upper back. Let's go for two more breaths. Inhale, and exhale. And just one more. Inhale, and exhale. Release, open your arms on the ground and take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Now we bend the arms again and this one is the left arm who's going to wrap the right one. And we try to hold our hands if it's possible. If not, bring them as closer as you can. Move your fingers backwards, keep your arms parallel to your face and we're going to hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. Now we release, we open our arms and we take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Hands go behind your head. And we're just going to lift the head off the ground. And again, elbows in. We feel the upper back stretching. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Engaging your tummy to help you. Let's go just two. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Release your head down. Open your arms beside your body. Move your face towards the right side. So it's pretty much the same exercise we did in the other video when we have the tummy on the floor. But this time it's in the opposite way. Just to feel different engagement of the muscles as well. And here, because we don't have the pressure of the ground, we're just gonna go as far as we can go just with our normal mobility. Now let's go to the other side. And take four breaths. Again, as far as you can go. 
When you are lying on the ground, of course, this stretch become more intense for the neck. So here we're just gonna give you some release. Let's take two more breaths, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. Release your arms beside your body. Lift your feet off the ground. Hands go under the knees. Head off the floor. We're rocking backward and forward. Come on to the sitting pose. And from the sitting pose, again, if you don't feel comfortable sitting on the ground, keeping your back straight, you can sit down on a chair. Now we're going to do pretty much the same exercises and just in a different engagement. So here we bring the elbows closer as far as you can. If they don't come too close, doesn't matter. As much as you can, keep your elbows, shoulders high. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. If they can come closer, you keep your palms and your elbows closer. And let's go for two. And just one more. We release, hands onto the knees, and we're gonna tilt the pelvis backwards and we're gonna bring chin and chest. As far as you can curl your back, here we're still stretching our upper back but as well our lower back so we try to just relax the shoulders and try to bring chin and chest as much as you can and you curl your spine i'm gonna turn around so you can see my back so from here we're just gonna tilt the pelvis backwards chin and chest relax your shoulders and we hold it here for four breaths inhale and exhale let's go for three And two, no putting pressure on your neck or your shoulders. And then gently push your hips forward, lift your chest, and again, straight your back. We repeat, arms come to the front, bring your elbows closer, open your hands, and drop your hands onto your shoulders. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see me. The same we did before, but this time, as much as you can bring your elbows, if they don't come close, it's okay, and drop your hands on your shoulders. You can bring your elbows closer, it's fine. Make sure that your elbows don't go down, that they keep at your shoulders level. You feel that when you lift your elbows, you feel more the stretch in you, upper back. So let's hold here four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for the three. And use the breath to release the areas you might feel tense. Let's go two. And just one more. Close your eyes anytime and really connect with your body. Feel your body. Release. Bring your arms this time. Interlace your fingers. Arms at the chest high. And we tilt the pelvis backwards. And we just stretch here. Back. The same stretch. Chin and chest. Curving your spine. If you feel comfy, push your palms away. Wherever of the two is good, okay? Try both. Let's start with the palms away. We hold two breaths, curving your spine. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Now palms facing towards to you. Two breaths. Inhale. Chin and chest. Exhale. And the last one. And we release, raise your torso, drop your hands. So the exercises are very similar, but depends if we are lying, sitting, or using uh, uh, using gravity, like using gravity against our body. It will help us to activate in different ways our body. So that's why it's important that we take all the kind of adaptations to help us to feel your back muscles and you feel more released and, of course, relaxed. Now, from here, we're just going to roll our shoulders backwards for four. And remember, we bring the shoulders in, up, backwards, and down. Shoulders in, up, backwards, and down. And one more. Up. Uh, it feels good. And if you want to repeat one of the exercises that you feel, oh, this one made me feel really good, or this one, just go ahead. Well done. So we're going to just go with the last one. 
So it's pretty much the same we did, but this time we come on to all fours. We move, keep the hips above the knees, move our hands forward, we bend the elbows, and we bring our hands behind the head. We try to watch our knees, and we just want to hold here. If you can bring your elbows closer, it's fine. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for the feet. Keep your tummy engaged so we don't let the weight collapse in your lower back. Let's go for two. And just one. Better release your arms on the ground, come back onto all fours and just push yourself backwards onto child pose. If it's comfortable for you, bring your hands beside. If your bum is still not touching your heels, just keep it here, engage your tummy and push your weight backwards. Don't let the head drop on the ground because you know you won't stretch your back. In case it's very uncomfortable, the arms here, just bring your arms to the front. But this time you're going to palms facing up to activate your upper back muscles. But if it's comfortable for you, bring your arm just beside your body with your palms facing up. As you can see, even if my bum is touching my heels, I don't let my head drop onto the ground. Don't let the weight collapse, so that will help me to stretch as well my lower back. We hold here just for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. And just one. And we raise our torso. How do you feel? Good. Remember, there are simple exercises that you can remember that you can practice anytime. You know, don't let the stress come to your body. Always roll your shoulders backwards. Always give it some mobility to your shoulders. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. If you like our content, don't forget to leave us a comment, something that you are interested in. Thank you for coming and see you soon.